Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, before we get into the video, big shout out to my channel sponsor, Fighting Mad, the Pound Pound Kings of Boxing Apparel. If you like this, if you like the shirts that you're seeing to my left or to my right, go ahead over to Fighting Mad and swag yourself out for the fights. Now, getting into the boxing talk, all right? Your boy Terrence Bud Crawford. I got lots of respect for Crawford. I'm a big Terrence Crawford fan. I've been loving Terrence Crawford and supporting Terrence Crawford for a long time here on True School Sports because Terrence Crawford Robert, represents a lot of things right about boxing. Because when we talk about Terrence Crawford, we're talking about a man that has, you know, complete skills, a complete overall skill set. He does it, does it all in the ring. Can box southpaw, can box orthodox, can be a power puncher, can be a pure boxer, can box from outside, can box from mid-range, can box on the inside, can hold his own on the inside, can slip, parry, all kinds of stuff in the box ring Terrence Crawford's capable of doing. So I got a lot of respect for him. This is a guy that has won a world title in three weight classes. This is a man that has went undisputed at 140. And this is a man that's been very dominant throughout the course of his career. And he is one of the best fighters in the world. Maybe even the best fighter in the world, depending on who you talk to. Now, with that being said, Terrence Crawford is arguably, and I say arguably because I rate Demetrius Andrade very highly, but mo mo most people don't rate him as highly as I do. So I'll say in the eyes of most people, Terrence Crawford is the best and most skilled American fighter out right now. So a lot of the upcoming fighters, a lot of the upcoming amateurs, the kids, we'll, we'll, we'll just say the kids, the kids look up to Terrence Crawford and when you're someone in Terrence Crawford's position, you have a responsibility to set an example and to be a man of integrity, to be a man of honor, to be a man of, you know, ambition in the boxing ring, and just be, just conduct, just conduct yourself like, like, like a true champion. And with this statement I have in front of me, Terrence Crawford is sending the kids a great match because at the end of the day, it's always about the kids. So, Terrence Crawford said this in regards to um, boxing and all of its different world titles. He said, I quote, I don't mess with no WBC franchise belt. I don't mess with no WBA regular belt or Super Bowl. There's only one champion, one champion in the weight, and that's it. It, it. Ain't no franchise, no silver, none of that. I only go by the actual champion, end quote. So now, let me put my computer down and let me posture myself as the king of the YTBC that I am. Now listen, that is exactly how a pound for pound king should be acting in Terrence Crawford. I don't have him as my pound for pound king, but many people do, so that, that's why I'll call him that. That's how you should be acting because there's a lot of confusion in boxing. There's a lot of misconceptions in boxing. To put it bluntly, there's a lot of bullshit in boxing, all right? Because you have franchise, you have regular, you have super, and to be honest with you, as somebody that follows the sport day in and day out, it can get very confusing to keep up with because it's, I feel like every time I go to sleep, have a couple of eggs and settle in with my day, there's a new title in boxing. There's a new sanctioning body in boxing. So it gets very redundant. It gets very disgusting. And, and, and really, at the end of the day, the biggest impact it has on the sport is that, it, is that it's watering down what a world champion actually is. It's watering down winning a world title. So he's right. He's absolutely right. And, um, you know, there's been a lot of confusion recently with, you know, this whole franchise champion thing, you know, which I really think is going to be really bad for boxing because of the fact that it, there, there's already enough confusion as there is, as, 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 enough as it is with, with, with WBA, WBC, WBO, IBF, and all these different title belts. It's already enough confusion, but add, add in regular titles, super titles, depending on the sanctioning body, and then now the franchise championship belt, uh, it's gonna muddy up the waters a lot more. And, and I think Terrence Crawford's being extremely, extremely uh, great and responsible in taking the stance against bullshit like this in boxing, because he's, he's He's one of the faces of boxing. You know, whether, whether he's the most popular or not, he is one of the faces of boxing. When, when, you talk about the, when you talk about the best fighters in the world, if he is not one of the first three names out your mouth, you are not talking about boxing. You are not talking about boxing if you're not talking about Terrence Crawford. So, um, I, just, I, I love everything about the statement. I love everything about what this represents. I love, I love everything about what it signifies that Terrence Crawford is. And that is a man who cares about being great, a man who cares about being not just a champion, but a true champion. And a man that I think will, uh, as, as time progresses, uh, validate himself more in the ultimate division and uh, prove himself to be one of the best fighters in the world more and more and more and more and more. So, 
I'm with Crawford because because he, he he's he's meeting me right right, right, right with where I'm at and, and with this whole franchise championship BS. <clears throat> we don't mess with that over here on True School Sports. We don't, we don't mess with franchise belts. We don't mess with supers. We don't mess with regulars. We acknowledge them because we have to. Because I can't talk about boxing if I don't acknowledge them. I need to know how to decipher the bullshit. But Terence Crawford, as a fighter, he's speaking from a fighter standpoint. He doesn't acknowledge it. He doesn't care about it, and it is not of concern to him. So it's just fair play to him because. I don't think we have enough fighters speaking out against this. You know, I, I think if more fighters like Terence Carver took this kind of stand, it might put pressure on these sanctioning bodies to act just a bit more um, proper in terms of how they conduct their business. So that's just my take on the matter. That's my little two cents, but you guys can leave me yours in the comments down below. I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, but yeah, let, let, let me know what you guys in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just giving you. So until next time, take your eyes.